Hey guys, Tech Mentor here with a video for you guys to show you guys how to start using Zoom for virtual meetings and video conferencing on your phone. So here I have an iPhone 8 that we'll be doing the demo on. Essentially, Zoom is a leader in modern enterprise video communication with the easy, reliable cloud platform for video and audio conferencing, chat, and webinars, whether it's for business meeting, online class, or video conferencing with family and friends. Zoom is great for that. But, uh, it is a free option when you get the basic plan, which gives you unlimited number of meetings, um, one meeting at a time, of course, no expiration date and no time limit for one-on-one -on -one meetings. But when you go up to three to 100 people, there's a 40 minute limit per meeting. And if you need more than 40 minutes for larger groups, you'll need to upgrade to one of their uh, paid versions. So we'll go ahead and show you guys how to get started here. Basically for your phone, if you have iPhone, go to the App Store and search up Zoom. If you have Android or any Android devices, just go to the Play Store and search up Zoom and it should be under Zoom Cloud Meeting. Here as you can see, I have it downloaded already. So we'll go into our Zoom app and fire it up. So once you open up the Zoom app, there's a couple ways to join. First way is either if if you are joining a meeting someone has set up, the organizer will either give you a personal link or a meeting ID. So you would basically click join a meeting if you already have a personal um, link that they sent you. If you click on that, it should automatically take you to the meeting. But if they sent you a meeting ID, you would put that in. So you would put that number in and then Right after that, where it says iPhone here, it's your name that you want to display. So if you wanted um, your name, so we'll go and put in Technomer Entry or something along those lines, you know, whatever your name you need. And then you would hit the join button. And there's two different options when you join. Either you can select to connect to audio or, you know, if you don't want to, you can also turn off your video. So those are, you know, preferences that you have before you hit the join button. Uh, that's one way to join a meeting. The other way to, you know, use Zoom is actually, you know, if you're hosting a meeting, you do have to sign up or have an account on it. So to host a meeting, you have to go sign up for an account by using the sign up button here, which will take you to this screen where you need to put your email address, name, first name, last name, and then you to their terms and they'll send you a email with the confirmation to confirm your email and from there on that link will also give you a way to set your password if you, for the first time so you have a credential to log in. Here well, I already have a password in or if you already have a credential if your company is using it or your organization you work with already has an internal Zoom set up they might also give you that so reach out to them so you don't have to sign up you can use that credential. Or, or if you have any of the other services, you can also sign up with SSO, Google, or Facebook. Here, I'm going to quickly go ahead and sign into our account and hide this for a second. Give me a moment. We'll log into my personal one here so I can show you guys the next steps. So as you can see here, when I sign in, it will ask you to kind of see if you want some notifications. You can allow that. And then it wants access to your calendar. So it integrates with your calendar. You can hit OK on that one. Um, if you want Siri option, you can do that as well. And then you're all set to go. So, so the first thing you want to look at is these um, bottom tabs. You have the meet and chat meetings. If you if you have a sync with your calendar, your contacts, if you want to invite your contact, and then the settings. So the setting options here, if you go into settings, you'll see that, you know, your name will appear here and then your profile when you can update it with the picture, what display name you want whenever you do a meeting or start a meeting, and also any personal note, um, if you want to update your password and if you're working for organization or company, you can always set the department, job title, and location. And this, as you see, your personal meeting ID, this is the ID that you, whenever you host a meeting, that you would give to someone. And then there's also the sign up button. So let's go back again to the main screen, which is this one, to 
host the meeting, there's a couple ways to we'll do that. The first thing you can do is actually, you know, click on new meeting. And once you click on new meeting, you'll see either you can use a personal ID or, you know, you don't have to. You can just click, um, hit start meeting. Once you start meeting, you will need access to your camera so that, you know, it can show your face. Um, if you're doing any video comps, you can always select uh, not allow as well. So we're going to hit OK here. And it says also, you know, needs your mic for the audio. So you want to hit OK. You can always, you know, set those settings up if you uh, didn't set them up um, later in the setting by allowing those options. And then as you can see here, other please join audio. So you can use the internet audio to actually do the conferencing. So make sure you're connected to your internet. So we're going to use that. And as you can see right here, right now, it shows my home, or, you know, my front camera is on. So you could stop the video by clicking, you know, stop video. And then as you can see, I also hit the mute button. So that will mute you if you're starting a new uh, meeting and just want to wait till everyone's online. Or if you don't want them to hear your beginning stuff, you can mute it. The red means they're on, um, but the line means they're, you know, turned off. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn on you know, unmute it. Um, so this is the information you want to give to the people that want to join your meeting. Um, as you can see up top here is also the end button to end the meeting. And down below you'll see there's a couple options um, besides the mute and start video. There's also share content. So under share content, this is what you want to share in your meeting, whether it be your screen photos or something from iCloud the Dropbox or any box, Google Drive or, you know, website URL, bookmark, you can do any of those to share in your meetings. And then you'll notice another option when you click on this is participant. So for your meeting, you want to invite people, right, to have, you know, people join your meeting. You want to hit invite. And once you hit invite, you can send a message or invite your contact or copy the URL of this meeting so you can send it to someone through email or any other um, social media or any other way that you prefer to send that so that's how you would invite people and lastly you know there's also the more option which allows you to do a couple more options such as you know chat um, meeting settings minimize meeting virtual background is like if you want to set up a background as you can see here you know you can do that or you can add your own from your actual photo by hitting ok that's another option that you can do as well so we're going to close that as well and then finally you'll see you know you can always disconnect the audio so go explain you know whenever you start me you can always play around with the meeting settings as you can see there's a bunch of settings you know depending on your preference however you want to control you can go explore that as well but the default ones are fine as well so we'll go ahead and end the meeting to that that's how you start a meeting immediately there's also an option to actually so we're ending a meeting we'll just say it end meeting and once you end meeting it closes here there's also a way to actually you either join if you're joining your meeting like we did in the beginning you can put that in here after you sign in and then the other option you want you can also do is actually schedule a meeting this is where you know if you're looking to schedule meetings out in the future you would click here and then from here you put the name of your meeting whenever you want to start, select date and duration of the meeting, of course, the time zone. And if it's a repeating meeting, if you want to integrate with calendar and then the meeting, personal meeting ID that you want, if you want to enable that or not. Also password, if you will need, if you, the participants need password, you'd select that option. And then in the meeting option, there's a couple things. If you want, you know, video on the host, video and persistent and also in other options available and how you want audio as well. Um, and then if you want to enable waiting, there's also a more advanced option you can definitely explore here, um, but we won't go into that just because we want to keep the videos as short as possible. So that's how you would um, essentially schedule a meeting. And also you can also share your screen, but to share your screen, you need to be entered in a meeting. So that's all the, you know, quick overview for Zoom and how to use Zoom. Um, hopefully this video helped. Um, if you have any tips or any questions, leave it down below in the in the comment section. And we can, you know, try to answer those for you. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you thought this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys.